What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a Blender add-on that allows you to animate projectiles inside a Blender by setting initial velocities. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So projectile is a tool for Blender that allows you to quickly set up initial velocities of objects. So I'll link to it in the notes down below. Um, I will link both to Nathan's Gumroad page. So you can download this for free by typing in a value of zero, or if you wanna support what he's doing, you can type in a value of of more than zero um, in order to support him. Um, there's also a link to his GitHub page, which has a little bit more information about compatibilities and other things like that. But now let's talk about the way this can work. So first thing I wanna do is when you first install it, you just wanna make sure that you go into your preferences. You wanna make sure that you install projectile and you enable it. And so when you install and enable projectile, what that's going to do is that's gonna pop up a little window, or if you tap the N key on your keyboard, that's gonna allow you to click on this physics button right here. And so basically what this is gonna do is it's going to let you set an object as a projectile. And so let's say, for example, that I wanted to shoot this box off into the distance. So what we can do is I'm gonna move this over a little bit, but then you select the object that you want to be the emitter and you click on the button for new emitter. And so when you do that, what that's going to do is that's gonna give you some options for setting up the object's initial velocity. And so um, what's cool about this is you can adjust this and notice how when I adjust this right here, it's going to give me this little line that's showing me where the object is going to go. Um, if you don't see that, if you don't see that, you can go down into your projectile settings and click on draw trajectories for all. But basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna create an emitter object, which you can select, and I can adjust things like the direction that this is going to throw this object, as well as the angle. So, what I wanna do is I wanna start this with a velocity radius and an incline that's going to shoot this in a certain direction. So I can kind of see what that is. Notice how um, as you adjust these, this is adjusting this line, showing you what direction these objects are going to be thrown. So once you're done setting those, what you can do is you can click on the option for execute. And we execute that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna apply those settings to this object. So now if I click on play, Notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna shoot my object. So one thing you may wanna do is go into your physics settings, set your ground to a rigid body. And we're gonna set this as a passive. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it so that your cube is actually going to intersect with this object right here. And so the cool thing about this is you can make these changes really easily and just click on that execute button in order to adjust this. So if I click on execute right here, Notice how that's going to change. So now let's say that we wanted to shoot a projectile into a pile of boxes or something like that. So what I could do is I could create a series of cubes and I'm just going to move them over. We can set them as rigid bodies and these we want to be active. I'm just gonna do a shift D, shift D. So that's probably close enough. So now those are rigid bodies right here. Well, what I could do is I could take this and I'm gonna make sure that I'm back at zero, but I'm going to adjust my velocity radius so that it's bigger. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna make sure that it's aligned with these objects. But if you have other rigid bodies in your scene, you can use this to shoot objects at those rigid bodies like this. And so another cool thing about this is you can actually use this to emit multiple different objects. So let's say I was to use this cube emitter and instead of emitting one cube, which I'm doing right now, right? I could set this to 10 instances and I could click on execute. What that's gonna do is that's gonna shoot out 10 instances of the cube instead of just one. Now, um, another cool thing that you can do with this is you can take that emitter and within your item settings, you can actually keyframe this. So for example, I'm gonna set my um, location at frame one to right here, but at frame 30, I want my location to be over here. So I'm gonna insert another keyframe. So now I've got a keyframe where this is moving across, right? Well now, if I click on play, and one thing that you do need to do if you make that change is you do need to make sure you go back into your physics settings and click on execute. Um, and so now what that's gonna do is that's gonna shoot all of these different objects in here. And notice how it retains the velocity of the object moving sideways like that. So that is something you are gonna to wanna to be aware of is it's kind of like shooting these off to the side. But 
you can also check the start hidden box and click on execute. And then those won't actually show up until it's actually emitting or shooting the objects. All right, so one other thing that you might run into is say that you've got, um, let's say that you just wanted to drop a bunch of cubes in a bowl, right? So what I've done is I've set this up where this is supposed to emit 10 cubes. Well, what you might run into with this is you might get this result where these kind of like shoot off into space. Right, And so the reason that these are shooting off into space is because this is generating these too quickly. And so they're occupying the same location, right? So it falls down like this far and then it spawns another one of these and it's messing up the physics engine. Well, what you can do is you can adjust the length of that animation because it's basically using the number of frames um, in order to figure out where or when these are going to be placed, right? So in this case, you've got 50 frames and 10 objects. So it's going to spawn one of these every five frames and that's not going to be good. However, because it doesn't give this enough time to fall. So what you can do though, is you can set your end frame to something higher. So if you set your end frame to like 200 and then click on execute, what that's going to do is that's going to give this object enough time to fall and get out of the way before the next object falls. And then you start getting this actual good result where these aren't just like exploding into space because the physics engine in Blender doesn't necessarily handle um, objects being in the same location because it doesn't make any sense at all. So um, just note that if you do have that issue where things are like blowing up um, or shooting off into space, try adjusting this so the objects aren't spawned at the exact same time inside of your 3D workspace. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about projectile. I just love having that conversation with you guys. I'll link to that on this page if you're interested in giving it a try. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.